Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my process for making Animal Crossing videos. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Raven. I make Animal Crossing videos here on YouTube and a lot of you have asked me to make this video and I finally got around to doing it so I hope you enjoy this kind of behind the scenes look but really quickly before we get into everything um, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe to the channel. If you like Animal Crossing videos and Chicken Alfredo then hit that subscribe button. I will be doing a face reveal at 150k subscribers so it would mean the world to me if you go ahead and click subscribe and while you're down there go ahead and like the video it helps the channel a lot supports me and uh, it would make me so happy if you did that but okay some quick notes also before we dive in this is not a tutorial i'm not an expert on this stuff i had a lot of help from my awesome dad who is good at these kinds of things he helps me pick out my microphone and set up obs and all that stuff so i'm not really qualified to give an in-depth tutorial this is more of like a behind the scenes this is how i do it come watch me kind of thing I will have links to all the websites and the gear and stuff that I mention and that I use in the description and some of them might be affiliate links which means I get a commission if you do purchase anything using those links. It's a great way to support the channel while getting something for yourself but yeah just wanted to let you guys know. But anyways into the whole process. The first step of course to making any video is the idea what exactly am I going to record. Typically, I make two main types of Animal Crossing videos, either Let's Plays or some sort of builds or scene on my island. So I usually don't spend too long on this step and I usually write down a list of little ideas that I have for video ideas or builds or anything for videos and I can just go ahead and pick out from that list. The next step is recording. I use OBS to record my videos. Pretty self-explanatory and I wanted to show you guys my mic settings and filters in case you're interested in that because I'm always curious about what other people's mic settings are. So here's a look at those. As you can see, I have a noise suppression filter and a compressor and limiter on and also a noise gate as well. Now to actually be able to get your switch footage into OBS you need a capture card. So this is the one that I use. There's a link to it in the description. This one is okay. <laughs> I feel like my video quality is not as good as it could be so I'm probably going to be upgrading this in the future but this one is pretty decent and it's a pretty good deal for the price. Really the only other piece of equipment I use while recording is my mic. It is a pile microphone. I also have it plugged into an interface. I will link that down below and it's on an arm attached to my desk so I can just like swing it around whenever. I'll also link that down below. Speaking of my desk though, I do have a desk tour video that I made just a little while ago if you would like to check that out and take a peek. Actually more than a peek, it's like an in-depth look into my whole desk space and desk area and work area so I will link that down below as well in case you're interested. Another crucial step is doing a sound check to make sure that everything sounds good on my end so this is usually what a sound check for me sounds like. Hello, hello. Pepper, come and help me do this. Pepper's licking his paws right now. Okay, nasty. Go wash your hands or something. Ew, okay. He, ew. You done? You done? He's staring directly into my soul right now. <laughs> so whenever I'm done saying random things and making sure that everything sounds good, I go ahead and just start recording. Usually I record for about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on what I'm doing. If it's just kind of like a standard let's play, it's usually around the hour and a half mark. If I'm doing a build video, it might take me two hours. And of course, if it's something more extensive like villager hunting, then it may take me many, many hours. <laughs> so. So it really depends on what I'm making. That's the great thing about doing YouTube and doing this for a job is that it varies every day. And if you like variety, if you don't like doing the same thing every day, then it's great. Now on to editing, which is my favorite part of the whole process. I use DaVinci Resolve to edit, which is free. I go ahead and skip downloading the update because I'm lazy and I create a new project for our video. Then I just bring in all the clips. Please ignore all the pictures of squishmallows in my folder. Um, I was making a wish list. And once I have all the footage imported, I drag everything in and just go to town on editing. Usually when I'm recording, you know, an Animal Crossing video, I just have one long video that I just need to chop up. So it looks a little more complicated here because this is 
this video that you're watching right now kind of trippy <laughs> but um yeah this one's a little more complicated looking than it usually is there's a lot of different clips and stuff but i just go ahead and chop everything up and just do whatever edits i gotta do and last but not least the thumbnail here i'm taking a screenshot of this video that i'm editing in davinci resolve to use as the thumbnail background normally i just take a screenshot you know in animal crossing but you get the idea it's the same i save that and for animal crossing screenshots i always import it into lightroom on my phone to add a filter just to make it a little more interesting but after that i use the website canva.com to put everything together here you can see all my past thumbnails and my squishmallow wish list ignore that um, i do pay for the pro version of this website which comes with a lot of extra features i wouldn't recommend it for everyone but i'm someone who's not good at graphic design and canva is really simple to use and user friendly so this is what works best for me i always create a copy of my last thumbnail so i can keep the settings that's why they're all named copy of something <laughs> and i just delete all the old stuff and bring in the new pictures a lot of times i use little cut outs of my character and my thumbnails so I wanted to show you how I do that without Photoshop because like I said I am not skilled so I use this website called pixlr.com and for the first part I use the X version I bring in whatever picture and after cropping it I use the cutout tool to get rid of the background sometimes the magic wand tool works well sometimes it doesn't I'll mostly use the magic wand first and get rid of as many big chunks as I can and then I'll go in manually with the brush tool to clean it all up so like I said I use the X version of it there's two versions I think of like a playful version and a pro version so pixlr.com slash X is the playful version and I use that version first to cut out the background and then I save it onto my computer and then I go ahead and go into pixlr.com slash E which is the more pro advanced version or whatever and I upload it so for some reason when I try to work on the same file that I already removed the background from it doesn't add the little filter white outline that I like so I have to download it and upload it again for it to work I don't know if that's just me missing a step somewhere <laughs> but that's the steps I have to take so once I finish cutting out the background, I go ahead and download it, upload it to pixlr.com slash E, and then I just go up here to filter and do outline, and then you can just play with that. And if there's any extra little like white areas, you can just go ahead and clean them up with the little cutout tool. And if there's any darker pixels that kind of look weird on the edges where, you know, you didn't really clean them up that well, you can use the little brush tool or the little draw tool and you can just paint them in with white and it just looks fine. So after I finish that, of course, I just bring it into Canva, just plop it on in there and just kind of play with the sizing and everything. And then I decided that I wanted to get a shot of my microphone to also have that in there to just kind of add an element of like the behind the scenes type of vibe video that this was going to be. So I went ahead and grabbed a screenshot from my video and then I repeated the whole same process with Pixlr really simple since this was a black object against the white background it was a lot easier and less complicated and way quicker so after i have all of the little elements and pictures that i want for my thumbnail i just go ahead and try to play with everything put it together sometimes i will spend way too long on a thumbnail just tweaking things here and there playing with colors size shapes everything under the sun <laughs> but usually i try to stick to at least uh, one to three fonts that i usually use in my thumbnails i just try to keep in the theme same with the colors i try to save the colors that i usually use the, like the little hex codes and for the most part i personally just like to do kind of simpler thumbnails i don't like to have too much going on because <laughs> the more that's going on the more likely it is that i mess it up and make it look weird so i just stick to good old simple basic thumbnails when i'm doing build videos usually i'll just take a picture of the build and just slap some text and the animal crossing logo and we're good to go that's that's the magic of it so yeah here is the thumbnail that you clicked on today for this video it came out great if i do say so myself and that's basically it that's my whole process for making videos I think it's a pretty simple process. I don't have a lot of going on for me, for my videos. It's uh, pretty straightforward. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of behind the scenes video and getting a look into 
my whole process for everything. I hope it was interesting. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. Uh, like I said earlier, links to everything I mentioned, I will try to put in the description. If I left something out, let me know. I'll add it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.